Hey guys, Ilya here. I want to talk about the new GameMage 1.4 update. The previous video was on GameMage 1.2 update. GameMage 1.3 was a minor update that added the Apple Silicon native support. So the new GameMage 1.4 supports AU and VST3 natively on new Apple Silicon processors. You can already try it in uh, Cubase 12 or in Ableton Live or in Logic. Also, the issues with loading in Ableton Live are now finally fixed thanks to Ableton and to Bluecat Audio. So if you're unfamiliar with GameMage, what it is and what it can do for you, basically you can insert GameMage before your plugins, then drag it over to the slot after your plugins and easily compare the level and easily listen to the before and after with the same loudness. This is very useful while doing mixing and mastering so you can decide whether the plugins you are adding really do something good to the sound and not just make it louder. And still we continue to improve it and add new features. So what's new in GameMage 1.4? So GameMage can be used to write automation uh, in different situations. You can enable auto mode, click the write automation and the automation will be written. But sometimes it gets in your way. GameMage automation will be the last one in the history and you can't easily undo what you're doing here. There is now an option called exposed to DAW gain in auto. If you uncheck this, uh, now this auto will not be written to the history and will not be written to the automation. So now you can easily change parameters in other plugins and gain match will not be seen in your history. If you still need to write automation sometimes in gain match, you can enable it using this little W icon. If you are using gain match on multiple tracks, now you can easily toggle listen before on all of them at once using control click or you can display these collection controls. There are two new buttons here. This button toggles all instances and you can also link instances together and you can toggle linked instances together. For example, here we have uh, two guitar tracks, DI and mic. You can link these two together and now you can toggle listen before on these two tracks at once and at these two tracks at once or all of them you can also click and hold, and now this option is locked. You can use MIDI controls to toggle all instances when this option is locked. It will also work with the Delta mode. To unlink from the collection, you can right click and unlink. So this is quite flexible. If you like to see these little icons all the time, you can just display them and then save as default for all new instances. Also, the new nice feature is the ability to add several game matches at once, like this. I have selected four tracks and I hold Shift Alt in Cubase, but in other DAWs it may be different. And you see, all these instances are set to different groups and they are all set to before. Now, if I select here and add another four game matches, they will be all set to after and take the same four groups. So now you can add multiple game matches easily and use these new options to toggle all instances at once. There are some minor improvements in the interface. The listen before button is now slightly bigger, easier to use. And there is a before hint now to identify whether you are listening to before or after. There is an icon showing the remaining time for calculating the difference. You can also quickly display these additional status bar items clicking on this icon down here. You don't have to use this right-click menu anymore. We have also increased the contrast in the light theme so that it looks better now. If you're using several game matches in your project and you want to make sure they are all in manual mode, you can turn off auto in all instances with a single click now so that you save some CPU and make sure that no gain matches are altering the loudness. The suspend comparison option now can be found here, below threshold, suspend comparison. Now there is a dedicated threshold parameter. You can change it from minus 100 to zero decibels. When the signal is 
below the threshold, Gain Match will not do any changes. We have also increased the maximum number of groups to 128. The more groups you use, the more memory you need, the more CPU you need, and uh, loading time will also be slightly slower. So probably this is a good idea to use the default 24 groups. If you're using Gain Match on the Master Bus and like to use this Listen Gain to slightly increase the level of the before signal, then you may find the problem that when you go back to the after, the signal doesn't have the same level, because this listen before gain doesn't affect the difference. Now you can enable this option, consider listen gain value. This difference will be affected by this listen gain value. You can either use auto and listen gain will follow this difference or you can use this consider listen gain value and the difference will follow what you said here in the listen gain value. We have also improved gain match in several other areas. We have improved the ear protection mode, we have improved the detection of when gain match is bypassed, we have improved the writing of automation in some hosts and many other small fixes and improvements were made so that gain match is getting better and better. One more thing I want to mention, if you click on this title, you can now go to your profile at letimix.com where you can see all your purchases, uh, all the installers, old versions if you need them, the manual, if you need your serial, you can get it here. And you will also be able to see the future discounts and future products. So guys, hope you like the new game match update, there is more you can learn from this uh, version history, you can check all the new features and what was changed since the previous game match here. Feel free to contact us if you need support or you have great ideas about uh, some new game match features. Thanks again, all the best to you, until next time, bye bye.